housemates. Leo. Kindly congratulate your new head of house, Kid Wild. Woo! Yes! Pass <laughs> nominated by the house. The most votes and pardoned for this week is Omar. Woo! Yes! My God, <laughs> guys, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I've told you all before about how I promised myself that I was going to watch the season of Big Brother Niger emotionally detached, like completely emotionally detached. But this is the second time I'm shedding tears on this show. This is the second time these housemates are making me cry. And guys, tonight's one, <laughs> it's, it's just been worth every single teardrop that has fallen from my eyes. I am so happy for Suma, guys. These tears I'm shedding, they are tears of joy. I am crying with Suma. Guys, I don't know how many of you watched the moment when Suma won immunity from the pardon me process, guys. <laughs> See, my heart was beating so fast. Mm? I was scared. I was just praying in my heart that no matter what, these housemates should please pardon this young man. Because, it, oh God, guys, I don't even know what to say. Anyways, tonight has been so emotional. Starting from the head of house challenge, which was really hectic. Very, very hectic, guys. Even me, I don't think I would have been able to play that game. It was so hectic, highly frustrating. Like, guys, I, I, could, I could feel the housemates frustrations from here yeah it was crazy and then after that there was also the emotional moment when angel found um a black envelope that granted her immunity for this week you know what guys let's just get into this video tonight has just been really really emotional yes yeah. so let's get into this video i'm gonna give you guys all the details of how the head of house challenge went how the black envelope challenge went as well because there were quite a number of exciting events all wrapped up in all of those challenges all right and then we'll also talk about how the housemates pardoned one another okay and um please do not hesitate to also let me know how you feel did you cry when soma won that um pardon from the housemates just go ahead and express yourself in the comment section below and you are all specially welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with gloria elijah and i am the girl with the tea please if you are yet to become a part of this community please go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen all right now quickly let's proceed with the details of this conversation night's head of house challenge was indeed a challenge guys in the entirety of the word challenge it was hectic it was draining it was highly frustrating now just for a moment cast your minds back to the supreme veto power challenge that the level of housemates had actually had in their own season i think that happened um, in the final week when chi chi emerged the winner of that challenge she became the supreme head of house of that week guys i don't know if you all recall that event guys you see that game they played mm? that was the same game that these all-stars housemates also played today guys <laughs> hey see i was crying for some people these housemates were sweating like christmas goat eh they were so frustrated <laughs> guys see in fact watching the game today i started wondering like how did chi chi even do it because guys hey it was the same game but more in fact extremely difficult it was so frustrating if you all recall how that sledge or whatever that damn thing is the way that thing would always you know shift left and right you have to use your mind to calculate how you balance your weight on that sledge and how not to make the balls fall off the tray guys here where i was yeah i was agitated eh some people had four balls in their tray and before they would come down again the balls would scatter some people literally had to go over and over and over and over again guys i felt so sorry for the likes of pere ek kidwaya ilebaye guys oh my god it was hectic hectic 
chick. It was crazy. <laughs> but at the end of it all, to cut the long story short, um, at first, um, eight housemates made it through to the next round. It was actually two rounds. Now, to make the games easier and to also manage time, very important because last week, yeah, guys, we almost slept on that head of our challenges. So, as I said, to make the game easier and to manage time, Big Brother had instructed the housemates to, um, you know, share themselves into four different groups. No, that sounded so wrong. It's like sharing a human being. No. So, they were to divide themselves. <laughs> into four different groups of five and um they were to play the game like that now it wasn't like you know they were supposed to help each other no but it was supposed to be the person that finished and completed the task in the fastest time and got the number of balls that big brother wanted and so for the first round we had um Ilebaye, Venita, um, Kidwaya, EK, Adekunle, who else, who else, who else? I can't really remember at this point but there were eight people but at the end of it all there was a tie there was Kid Wire, there was New. Ladies and gentlemen, with my own two eyes, I saw Kid Wire finish before New. New literally jumped off the sledge when it was done. Kid Wire was already done and he was already off the sledge. New started shouting that, yes, he knows that he saw the time. He has won. He saw the time that he finished. He was just doing initial gra gra. His cousin, Venita, too, was supporting him, was saying that, yes, you have won. I know that you got immunity. Yes, I spoke it into your life. You know that one? She was looking to secure a spot as news BFF. Because just last week, BFFs had actually secured immunity by virtue of being BFFs to the head of house. So these housemates were probably thinking that the rules were still going to apply this week. But Big Brother had a shocker for them. Anyways, Melissa was making all the noise. Now, before the eight qualifiers had actually gone ahead to play the second round of the game, they had had to play the Black Envelope Challenge. Now, that one was equally dramatic. If you all recall, last week, there were only two envelopes that were found. One had immunity, which Mercy found, and then the other had um, no immunity, more like try again next time, which fraud and what's his name now, um, Shay were dragging. Now, tonight's one was quite dramatic and interesting. Big Brother had instructed the housemates to go into the arena to give them the announcement for the game and further instructions. Now, whilst they were in the arena, I guess that was the time the ninjas took, you know, to hide the envelopes around the house. And one was also hidden in the garden on that swing. Now, some of the housemates were inside the house whilst Pere and Kidwire were in the garden. And so they were having conversations. People had told them that they should time the buzzer. Once the buzzer goes off, they should start searching and they were to search for five minutes. Immediately the buzzer went off. Something told Kidwire to check under the, the cushion on the swings chair. The moment he did, he found one of the black envelopes. This guy almost went crazy with excitement. Angel, on the other hand, had anxiety she was literally panicking yes because she did not know what big brother had up his sleeves for tonight so she was in the dressing area of the house and um once the buzzer went off she was gonna stand up but something told her to look beneath the dresser and that was where she found <laughs> a black envelope Neo, on the other hand found a black envelope i think in the kitchen i can't remember where but he found it guys these people were so ecstatic but guess what as usual, people that would never allow these housemates to have a few day over his, you know, his intellect, right? And so as usual, anyways, I mean, just as expected, only one person got the immunity and it turned out to be Angel. Kidwire and you were so disappointed. But then the good thing was that he had a chance to compete for another slot for immunity in the head of house challenge. And that was where they went back into the arena at the instructions of Big Brother to challenge again. And then that whole drama happened, you know, where um, Neil thought he won. Veneta was over there, you know, she was so confident, you know. And then even later, when people had asked them to return back into the house, Veneta was still, hey, hey, yes, yes, yes. But later, so that it did not look as if, you know, she was slaying a friend, Kidwire, because they've been having conversations in the house. She now went to him and said, eh, even though you don't win, it's fine. And blah, 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 blah. she was just running her mouth and then she hugged him. Ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you 
that kidwire of lockdown season is not the kidwire of this season please believe me because kidwire received the hug in good faith but he did not make noise he was very quiet he was calm you know Neo was over there doing gra -gra. you know vanita was so confident she was so excited they were already congratulating each other kidwire just went and sat down at the dining table put his legs on the table and he was drinking water and chilling because everybody was sweating low and behold big brother <laughs> guys i feel like just you know talking pettily right now so big brother announced that the head of house for the week is kid wire <laughs> guys if you see the way i was screaming in my apartment i was literally shouting and jumping because guys see eh, just because of what venita and you were displaying in the arena i just wanted kid wire to win and also because it was obvious that kid wire finished first and that the moment biggie announced kid wire as the head of house guess what Vanessa was the first person that ran like guys the way she she left where she was eh and flung herself into kid wire's arms guys it was at the speed of lightning she was like flash i did not even see her left leg I, guys should I, hey, 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 bff bestie hey, she was already gyrating uh, okay <laughs> Let's see how it's gonna work out now guys kid wire who still was not fooled a lot of housemates were hugging him ladies and gentlemen not necessarily because they were happy for him but because they wanted you know they wanted him to pick them as a bestie because they felt like they too were gonna get immunity but guess what that was when big brother took out time to explain the pardon me rule to all of them that's what their eyes opened bah, everybody was shocked now he did not inform them that bffs were not going to have immunity mm -mm. but what he said was that there was only three slots to be won for immunity tonight the first one angel already grabbed the second one kidwire already won and then the third one was going to be from whoever wins the pardon me please process i already explained this process on the video i put out yesterday you know about the live eviction share but just to refresh your memories let me reiterate what it means all right now the pardon me rule is set to um replace the nomination process moving forward till big brother chooses to change it or not all right now the housemates were instructed to go into the diary room one after the other and then they were to um pardon one housemate that they want to grant immunity that, that they feel is deserving of that immunity yes now according to big brother steel it is the housemate with the highest amount of votes that that immunity will go to if there is a tie big brother will not acknowledge that tie there's nothing going to be like oh a tiebreaker or whatever whatever it means that slot for immunity will be lost so it's a one-off chance there is no second chances with regards to that particular position now let me tell you how the housemates pardoned <laughs> their fellow housemates guys this one was equally dramatic now beginning with angel angel pardoned suma now i was thinking like okay maybe because suma is a friend and yes suma is a friend but guys i was quite shocked that angel did not pardon mercy because of the way she had fought to protect mercy's honor or guys i don't know what's happening <laughs> anyways she pardoned suma and then there was venita ladies and gentlemen this one shook my bones venita pardoned ek guys i almost fainted because before the process started Venita was running around. She was looking for who she was going to make a deal with. She went to Adekunle and then um, there was, I think, um, Mercy as well. But Adekunle and Shay later, they were laughing. They said, leave her, let her carry herself and go. Later, she now ran to go and meet Mercy. Hey, Mercy, hey, call my name. I'll call you. And like, she was running kitty, 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 kata, 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 elta, skelta, everywhere. At the end of the day, I thought she was going to mention Mercy's name. Ladies and gentlemen, friendship in the mud loyalty in the mud <laughs> she did not mention her best friend's name oh. <laughs> is that she mentioned ek which goes to tell you you know what let me not even say anything let me just keep quiet it's a game at the end of the day anyways um cc pardoned ilibai guys that really warmed my heart honestly i i mean i really melted because CC did not even think twice. She didn't even, she didn't even blink twice. She just went ahead and called Ilibai's name. I'm like, wow. I mean, because she must have seen 
everything that the girl had actually gone through the week, right? And she felt like everybody was going to not want to pardon Ilibaye. So she probably felt like giving Ilibaye a chance, and that was exactly what she did. And then Uriel pardoned Soma. Guys, that really touched my heart as well. Um, Ike pardoned Benita. Now, that one came into the diary room, was acting drama, like, eh, oh my God, Biggie, I don't even know who to choose. Da, 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 da. It's going to be between Mercy and Benita. Da, da. I'm like, Ike, just shut the hell up. Just pardon someone and just get out of the diary room because right now you're just being annoying but anyways it went ahead and pardoned Venita. then Adekule pardoned Suma, Pere pardoned Cross just as expected, Tolani Badge pardoned New, um, Cross pardoned Suma guys I was really surprised to be frank with you because I was expecting you know um, Cross to pardon Pere but then I could also understand that by virtue of the fact that they had actually spent a lot of time together in the head of house lounge, they have actually had a lot of conversations. So Ma has told them his story about how desperately he wants to be on the show, that if at all he's going to leave, at least it should not be the first two weeks, at least they should give him time, you know, to sell himself. And that was exactly what um, Cross did. And then we had Princess. Princess, pardon so my guys i was really impressed because princess is like one shadow in the house if you don't look properly you will not see her <laughs> anyways she pardoned Soma. elebaye pardoned doing besties and loyalty white money pardoned mercy ladies and gentlemen white money was only sticking to his proposed pact to mercy and if you all recall the video i did explaining and analyzing that pact I told you all that Mercy did not say yes outrightly to that proposal. Just as I expected, she did not pardon white money. Yes, because of course that guy is a threat to her. Instead, she pardoned CC, which was another major shocker for me. Because guys, I was expecting her to pardon any of our PPDM gang housemates, guys. These people have been going on and on about, oh, we have an alliance, we have an alliance. But... <laughs> she did not even pardon her best friend. There was her name now, Venita. Hey. Or even fraud. Or even she. She didn't even pardon any of them, guys. I was shocked. Instead, she went all the way, far, far away to go and pardon Sissy. I said, okay, I cannot wait for this people's diary session tomorrow. And they will fully explain the reasons for their decisions. Anyways, moving on, Soma pardoned Uriel. And I was really glad he did because both of them did not really have enough time during their season and then um neil pardoned tolani badge alex pardoned soma um shay pardoned um soma quite expected fraud pardoned adequately quite expected doing pardoned ilibai quite expected and then kid wire pardoned soma so in total soma earned eight votes of pardon guys hey god i was already crying before beginning the announcement now when soma went into the diary room you know for his own turn this guy wore shades he was already crying he could not breathe it was as though his airflow was restricted this guy was like yes big brother maybe i had to ask him soma are you okay he said yes big brother guys i was already crying for this young man i was already crying for him but i was equally hopeful because i was already seeing the results and then lo and behold after the entire process was done big brother made the big announcement guys soma was shocked but what really touched my heart the most was the way half of the house ran and jumped on soma guys these people were genuinely happy see in the history of big brother Ninja. This is the first time ever I am seeing fellow housemates genuinely happy and excited that one of them got immunity for the week. Guys, oh my God. That was where the tears started flowing for me. So Ma was shocked. This guy was crying. You could see the veins popping up on his head. He was crying. I was over here. I was crying, guys. Ah, oh my God. Oh my God. It's getting me all emotional right now. Guys, I'm so happy. I am so happy. And... I, I really believe that this guy deserves another chance. In fact, if they will save him over and over and over and over again, I don't mind. He needs to sell himself. And again, this week, the big aunties of the house, they have tried to scandalize this young man. They have tried to sabotage his name. They had peddled endless rumors here and there about him. And then Angel had been a bit aggressive towards him, throwing his clothes away from his closet. I mean, guys, it's been crazy. 
But he and Angel, they are back home. They are friends again, you know, but I was just happy that at least he has another week, you know, to have his mind at peace and at ease. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is just my personal sentiment. I'm super happy for Suma, all right? But just go ahead and share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing evening. Bye.